Alright, today we're going to be covering Semi-Pistol Cannonade. So when it comes to this one, it's basically identical to the uh, Semi-Rifle Cannonade, except with more damage, but the same amount of punch through. Uh, overall, I think it's a very strong mod, so with today we'll be using the Akbalto. My Akbalto runs a heavy crit build with a bit of status using Galvanized Shot. This will be for armored enemies, this is my Riven, replace this with Galvanized Crosshairs, easily can replace it, even though it says 40, ignore that, I got that in 10 trust and if it's a corpus enemy we're going to be running pure toxin obviously you could replace this with just like a dash of um, rhymed uh, pathogen rounds or anything else you want and replace this with lethal torrent i'm not in the mood to reforma so that's what we're running with run whatever arcane you like you can run cascadia flare secondary deadhead secondary merciless cascadia empowered if you're running on some weapons and other ones like the secondary one that applies uh, conjunction voltage. So how does it fare against enemies? Well, when it comes to the enemies, I'd say it fares quite well, like it slaughters. I don't seem to be struggling. Things die quite nicely. And overall, then uh, the constant orange numbers are quite nice to see. Doesn't have any issues. And thanks to the innate punch through that the mod gives you, your things are going through enemies and hitting more than just one target. And well, with no abilities and no like uh, recruit helping us, which is my uh, elemental spreader. Those enemies died quite well, but this was armored. What about corpus? What about infested? Let's cover those next. All right, well, here are the corpus enemies. So how do they fare against this build? Well, we'll still be using deadhead, obviously, and now we're using the toxin build. And to be honest, they, they, they still die really quickly. Hell, even without aiming for the head, even though we're using deadhead, I mean, tons of damage. And with that in a punch through, it just kind of slaughters. It's real easy. So I'm going to quickly go make a build for the infested and we'll see how it fares against them. All right. And this is the build for the infested. Obviously, I would replace Scorch with like Prime Heated Charge, Accelerate Ice Stove for Lethal Torrent and either run Secondary Merciless and or Cascadia Flare. I'm going to run Merciless just for the faster ramp up. So how does it fare against the infested? Well, since the infested take more damage from Heat and Slash, this is going to obviously suffer because this weapon's a puncture based weapon. As you can tell, it does struggle whenever they have Overguard. But if you just try to find enemies that don't, or just try to focus on the enemies that give the overguard. It's quite easy to deal with them in a short amount of time. But obviously, once again, this weapon does struggle with fighting enemies weak to other, well, assassins. But once you get rid of the overguard enemies, they die quite fast, as you can see. Ramping it up. Once you ramp it up, it doesn't have any issues, really. But obviously, none of this is with a pet. So I'm going to add my pet and we'll go back to fighting the Orican. Then we'll go into Steel Path. So what happens once you add uh, your pet to it with obviously status spreading? Well, let's just say it gets even easier than what it was already. As you can see, once again, still no issues against the armored enemies. And since galvanized uh, shot is on this build, we're taking full advantage of that since it is basically conditional overload for guns. So I'll show off the build before we go into still path. This is what we'll be running, but I'm probably going to be changing Deadhead to uh, Secondary Merciless just for that extra reload speed since it's not built into my weapons. So I will see y'all whenever we go to Steel Path. All right, and here we are inside of the, uh, I forgot, Oxamoco, I think is the name of this tile. So let's go ahead and get everything prepped. And obviously, as you can see, thanks to Iridus, uh, not Iridus, nice. Whatever this eye ability is called, Aphanium Eyes, uh, the enemies are slowed, they're losing their uh, armor if they stay in my sights long enough, and well, as long as I keep throwing my one out, I will be able to keep my uh, buff up. As you see, still no issues. Since everything's getting slowed also, I'm not having to worry about taking too much damage. Only downside is I haven't used my <laughs> Act Bolto in a hot minute, so I'm not used to the uh, child time, but as you can see, it does quite well. Has no issues killing. Oh, and you see a lot of these nice red crits, but I uh, will get back to y'all whenever something special happens, like uh, Acolyte spawning or if like a uh, uh, one of the like trios that can spawn fight me. So I'll see y'all then. All right, there we go. I uh, waited long enough. The Acolyte finally spawned. So who do we get? Oh, thanks. That is a interesting one to acquire, but uh, this should be fine. I mean, hell, that was that was actually kind of sad how fast they died. Hell, even Blitz X might die, and I'm using a Corrosive build. Like, look at that. 
But like I said, I wasn't struggling at all during this entire thing. I'm still yet to fall over, still yet to die. Would this build go forever? Probably not, but the whole point of this game is to have fun. Well, to be honest with you, I'm having quite a lot of fun watching my one of my favorite, basically, uh, secondaries just slaughter with absolute ease. So I will head back to my orbiter and give you all my final thoughts and the final build that we're using. All right, and we're back in the orbiter. So this is the final build for the armored. Obviously, once again, change one of these to a dash and run things like Prime Convulsion, Prime Heat of Charge, Prime Pathogen around, stuff like that. Change out my Riven for Galvanized Crosshairs. Other than that, that's about it for that build. This build, same thing. Change one of these to a dash for Prime Pathogen rounds. Maybe also run Prime, uh, a Prime Pistol Pestilence. Change this for Lethal Torn for the extra multi-shot. Same thing with the Heat build, except run probably Prime T to Charge on top of Scorch. Change this to be Cascadia Flare, Deadhead, Merciless, all three work quite well. But other than that, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Make sure you guys hit that uh, like button, comment, and do subscribe and hit that bell for post notifications because trust me, every comment I reply to and every like makes my day just that much better. Same thing with every subscribe. So I'll see y'all in the next video because guess what? We still got to use semi shotgun cannonade. So I'll see y'all in that one. Peace out.